Hey little chefs. Where you been? I've been working. Why are you not baking for us? I'm sorry. I want some pastries, you know? I'm back. Where's my money? Uh, what? Sorry. Just hungry. I'm sorry. It's cool. I get up when you get down to this Keep cool, but still get loud to this When it drops, just can't deny The mic turned off, but I'm amplified So if you- Today you will need Two sticks of butter One cup of sugar Two eggs One teaspoon of vanilla Four cups of flour One teaspoon of baking soda One teaspoon of salt One and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder for these cookies, you're gonna need a chocolate and a vanilla dough. I already made the vanilla dough because it's the exact same recipe minus the cocoa powder. And now I'm gonna show you how to make the chocolate dough. To begin, I'm gonna take a bowl and I'm gonna combine my dry ingredients. My flour, my salt, and my baking soda. I'm gonna add them into here. And then my cocoa powder. Stir these up a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my mixing bowl, take sugar, two sticks of butter, and we're gonna use paddle attachment and uh, mix this up, cream it together. Cream the butter and sugar together on speed four. We're gonna add our eggs one at a time. Scrape your bowl. And now we're gonna add all of our dries. Start slowly so you don't cover yourself. The mixer is gonna get a little, a little angry. And then you have a chocolate dough. So take your chocolate dough and try and mold it into a rectangle. To make it easier to work with when it's cold because that's the shape that we're gonna want it. We're gonna roll it out. Flatten it all together. Go into the refrigerator until it's nice and cold. My vanilla one is already pretty cool. And we're just gonna roll it out. Try and keep it rectangular. And we're gonna roll it to about about a quarter inch thick. And we're gonna roll it out the same way. Now I'm gonna take my chocolate dough that's rolled to a quarter of an inch. Lay it on top of my vanilla dough. Give it a quick roll just to help it here. Now to create our cookies, I'm gonna take a bench scraper. I'm just gonna cut off the funky ends. So cut it in half. We're gonna take this piece and put it right on top. A quick roll to adhere it. We're gonna cut strips and just lay them down. You could also use a large chef's knife. Then every other strip, we're gonna layer. So the dark on this one is gonna go with the light on the other one. Just kind of squeeze it together. We can refrigerate it before we cut our cookies. Once your dough is nice and chilled, we're just gonna cut cookies from this strip that are about a quarter inch thick. And then you have your checkerboards. These are going to go into a 350 degree oven and they're going to bake for about 10 minutes. Oh my god, I should not have nice things. Okay, hang on. Oh. Don't fall. Don't fall. Well, that's not a good view. Oh. <laughs> I wish you could see what this is on right now. I mean, if I go like this. Hi, I'm two feet tall. Okay. This is not gonna work. Oh! Okay. Come over here. Oh! You can't see me. Oh my god! Well, it's a good view of the mixer, but like, really? Really? I need my second amount of mac and cheese. That's been here for a long time. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, hello. I'm just hanging out with my mixer. So once they're all baked, you want to take them out right before they start to brown on top and you'll be able to pick them up and they'll be slightly brown on the bottom. And you're all set. Thanks a lot for baking with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next week.